Hey there guys, it's Anthony here at Cutting Edge Guitar and in today's lesson I'm going to be showing you another pentatonic run that you can be using as a concept for further improvisation. So as I talked to you about in the last lesson, we're going to be using our basic shape one minor pentatonic scale. <laughs> And then what we're going to do is we're going to put a sequence onto it that can be used as a run during your improvisation. And I'm going to talk to you about a couple of different things. I'm also going to demonstrate it over a backing track so that you can see how you might be able to use it. And then there's a few more perks for cutting edge guitar members at the end of the video, which I'll talk to you about later. So the sequence, this one is going to be 16th note based and it works really well in a hard rock setting. However, if you're not a blues guy, uh, sorry, if you were a blues guy and not a rocker, or if you're into like fusion-y concepts or anything like that, these things, they would still have some interest for you. You might not necessarily want to play over the backing track I'm using or play with the tone I'm using or have a guitar that looks like this, but there's still things that you can learn from this. So a lesson, a little lesson tidbit thing here is be open-minded. So, uh, one of the things that we're gonna do with this, it's kind of a bit of a Paul Gilberty type sequence. So if you don't like Paul Gilbert, you, you probably will turn your nose up a little bit at this, but I mean, you know, he's got a pretty solid following. So hopefully there's some rockers out there that like it. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this mainly with hammer-ons and pull-offs, but we're gonna play a little sequence that goes up uh, five notes so basically the entire minor pentatonic scale but I'm not going to play the root note on the top so I'm doing five, seven, five on the D string and then I'm going to come back down to our minor third the eighth fret on the E string so and that is a two beat sixteenth note pattern obviously it goes to end on the root note there you've just got a nice little exercise that you can play and it will hopefully help you you know build your speed and them sorts of things if you want to get used to this as a sequence you could break that up into points where you play it from different notes so all your starting points are going to be fifth fret on the E string A string D string so that's a great little exercise in the middle part of the neck there actually in like the, the middle string register I mean So that's breaking it up into loads of little individual exercises. But what we're going to do to play the sequence all the way through is very slowly. Played basically to the uh, the G string, you can't play the sequence anymore because if you was to go to then your B string and start it, you've run out of string. So that's basically the end of the run. So you can exit that with your B string bend, or you could. Or, well, there's loads of different ways you could exit it. You could go, you know, going to like classic rock, bluesy vocabulary, something like that. Or what you could do is make this part of a much larger phrase where you play the sequence. <laughs> and then start moving your way up the neck using some lateral motion or something like that. that you're sort of like I say these are concepts for improvisation so I don't know what's going to come out with what you're doing but think outside the box 
and see what things you can tag on the end of this and see how it's going and all that stuff. Anyway, I think with these kind of ideas, it's always really good to hear them in context. So I have a backing track here. I'm just using this straight off of YouTube. I always use YouTube to get different backing tracks. This is called Cheesy 80s Rock Backing Track in A minor 155 BPM from a channel called Matsumo or Matsomo, something like that. It's a really, really cool channel. I'll drop a link in the description below to this backing track. It sounds like this. Now, here's that sequence played over the track. Again. So, there it is guys, there is the sequence that I've been talking about today, played over the backing track. If you want to get the tab for it and see even more lesson material like this, I'm going to do a bit more of this for my members at Cutting Edge Guitar right now. That's all for this lesson here on YouTube guys. If you want to see more explanation about this concept in HD video format and get Guitar Pro, PDF, audio downloads and more, check out the links below where you can become a member at Cutting Edge Guitar and get way more access to these kinds of lessons and all of my advanced tuition products. It's support from people like you over at the Cutting Edge Guitar platform that will allow me to keep making lessons like this for YouTube and more. If you want to see more lessons like this, make sure that you like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another lesson sometime soon.